What's up guys, Tier here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new tutorial on the Sony Vegas data glitch. Um, this is a pretty crazy effect I just figured out. A lot of pretty big editors use it, like Noah's edits and like Evil, Mr. Evil's edits. Uh, but yeah, this is the this is what it's gonna come out to be. Oh, uh, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna teach you how to make it. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, pretty much what the first thing is. Um, I have two overlays. I'm gonna give you. It one is a fast one or a slow one. This is the slow one. And this is the fast one. Okay. It took me a while to make. Don't judge it. Uh, so yeah. So these two are going to be in the description. As well as the project file for this. This is the project file for the red solids and how to make the just pretty much the glitch. Uh, what I pretty much did is just did random masks all over. Uh, you can make your own overlay if you want. You can make it green or purple or whatever you want. It. Actually, uh, you can only do red, blue, and green. But I suggest having it red and blue. So, let's do this. Okay, so what you want is two video tracks. An audio track, audio track isn't really gonna be for use for anything. It's just that, just so I can put the audio on and delete it. So the audio is gone. Let's change the properties, maintain aspect ratio. Just see, very simple. Okay, that's gone. Now what we want to do is go to custom or change, go make a track on top. Change the compositing mode to custom. Okay. Oops. Uh, I don't know why it did that. You want to go back to Source Alpha and go to Custom. And now go over here, find Sony Displacement Map. Now you, I think you have to have at least 600, the six, number 600 build of Vegas. So some of you might not have this. Uh, I know number 12 does, but some might not have this if they got an earlier cracked version. But um, yeah. So change vertical down to zero. Press alpha channel scales RBG RGB channels. Change Y axis to blue. And go to horizontal. Put that at zero zero point zero five. Then what you want to do is go to the overlay and drag that into Vegas. Um, I'm gonna delete the audio on that and then you want to put it on the one where we just put the Stuff on now. It doesn't look very good that right now But we're gonna fix that right now you want to go to Stereoscopic 3d adjust drag that on to the track where the data glitch is Move it in front of composite and Drag it to the right to make it so that the left sides black is gone just like that. Now, there is still black on the right side, so you want to go back to custom and go to transparent background and click warp pixels around. So this is pretty much the effect in a really quick tutorial. Uh, Rewatch it if I went too fast. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do the data glitch effect. It looks really nice. Uh, I'll show you uh, another example of it in Zurge edit. Or not Zurge, but Mr. Evil. Okay, so uh, this is his edit. And as you can see, there's a bunch of glitching going on. Which is pretty much data glitch of after effects and this is the easy way to do it in Vegas instead of just masking every single frame so yeah this is how you do the data glitch in Vegas um, leave some suggestions for any more tutorials in the description not description but comment section below thanks for watching guys peace out